Boy, I got a lot of heart and a lot of passion God gave me all the strength, now my demons passing I was starving for success like a nigga fasting All them demons lurking at me, I won't let them back in I've been really working while they napping Tell me why you can't be real with me, show your actions I've been keeping it a thou, you've been keeping fractions But I bet when I'ma blow, they be wanna back in It's my city going crazy But I swear last year all these niggas didn't play me Made moves, now they hate me God, oh God all right, how's it going everyone? So today I'll be showing you guys another video on how to pick out certain plays, certain stocks, how to trade profitably, right? So I've been trading for a while now and the hardest struggle or the biggest hurdle I went through was identifying what to trade, when to trade. After I learned the basics, right, which is your technical analysis, your, your indicators, your price action volume, order book, um, which is level two on uh, time and sales, I kind of still found it kind of difficult to uh, be consistent in a sense, right? And uh, one of the, the biggest things that helped me was, or that is helping me to this day, uh, is keeping a playbook, right? A playbook meaning um, keeping past records, past plays that best fit me as a trader. Don't be too focused on, on trying to develop characteristics and, and personalities of another trader, right? Because that, that's what I was doing. And that's, it, trust me, you'll save a lot of time just focusing, honing down on what you're good at and trying different niches and uh, s selecting a few or just one of what you're best at or what you feel most comfortable with. At first, you won't be uh, best at anything, you know, but whatever you feel comfortable with and run with it, run with it, get samples of, of uh, um, that same setup, that same play and develop your own playbook, right? So every day what I do is just get one good play, the best play of the day or the best play of the day. I say that in quotation marks because it's the best play for myself. Now, uh, doing that over and over, you'll kind of realize what you like to look for and overall develop your, your playbook, you know? Uh, but yeah, let's get straight into it. That's enough talking. Today's play uh, was on Facebook, right? If we go over on the yearly, we see that it has resistance here. We see that uh, it has resistance to all this area. And even if we go down to the 184 hour, you guys can see that, yes, so it's had resistance. It's bounced here, it's bounced here. It kind of curled down here. So it's been really well respected uh, within this year. Uh, I like to kind of make my way uh, go very, very broad, uh, which is the yearly and zone, zone down to really just the daily essentially, um, I mean, this, I'm sorry, the five minute chart. So as you can see in the 91 hour chart, how well respected this area was. <laughs> so today it broke below a couple days ago, two days ago. And today what I noticed was, let's go on the five day, five minute. I have it all highlighted and everything because I already broke it down for my playbook, but um, I figured why not share with you guys and really help people see what you need to not necessarily need to look for but examples of what a good play looks like so we can see here on uh what was this on friday um it respected it pretty well it was at 222.50 it broke above this is a five minute um each candle is five minutes right and uh i've been kind of just testing this out where i don't use indicators anymore and just use price action alone and it's been going really really well so i'm kind of sticking with that um it hovered around the 222.5 area right for multiple multiple times and it, it was pretty much respected respected really well it jumped up to 225 and then it's it made its way back down and keep in mind uh let's see this red line is the line is is this one is this one right so it's the area, the level that we are looking at to potentially put a buy order or a sell order, depending on how the order book look like, looks like. And the order book is essentially the, uh, the interaction between buyers and sellers. Come on, I'll give you guys free game here. You guys got to drop a like or comment or something because if you guys really pay attention, it, it's, it's free game. I'm telling you guys, it's, it's stuff I've been through that I've came to realize what works and what doesn't. And just, again, it's what best uh, works for me. Um, but yeah, today it opened up really bearish, I guess you can say. 
<laughs> made its way back down, consolidation, consolidation, met, had a pretty decent push uh, past, past the level that we were looking at, right? And at this level, let's start zooming in, let's start seeing how it reacted. Um, so it passed through, right, with high volume and a higher volume than it was here on this consolidation. Look at the difference. This is the general area for volume, and this is the volume for the push up, right, which means there's eagerness, there's a lot of buyers stepping in. <clears throat> so we see two, two green candles on the, over the price point, right, which is good. It's, it's decent. We're waiting, or for me at least, I don't get in at the breakout. After it breaks out, I try to get in on the retest, right, meaning this, this area or point right here. Have it retest confirm that the buyer is still buying it up over this level, right? Because if you just buy it in at the breakout, what happens with a lot of these high cap names is uh, there's a lot of fake outs, a lot of fake outs with, with um, price. So say I were to get in at 222.55 and it only goes up to 222.59 uh, or 0.6, you know? <laughs> what happens is usually people or the market makers will push it up a little bit more and then once they get a good amount of people that got in at the breakout, they'll go ahead and sell it, you know, and kind of, or not necessarily sell it, but bring it back down so they can get forced out. And that's how market makers uh, feed off of like us, you know, retail traders. And they like to play with this. So it's kind of important to read the order book in that sense. <laughs> but yeah, the retest was on much lighter, lighter volume, as you can see, light volume, light volume, light volume. And as soon as, as we see this retest and a green candle above this general area, which is at 223, that would be my entry point, right? Which uh, order flow has to be looking good, meaning the buyers have to be eager. Uh, there has to be both a lot of sellers and a lot of buyers. And what I mean by a lot of sellers and a lot of buyers is there's there needs to be, people think that you just need buyers, buyers, but you need a good, a decent amount of sellers so the buy buying from the, you need buyers buying from a lot of sellers, if that makes sense, right? Um, because at first the mistake I did was I, I'd see a lot of sellers on the ask and I'd be like, oh no, this is a bad entry. But in reality, a lot of sellers on the ask being bought up by the buyers, that just shows that people are getting, uh, people are getting out that were wrong and a lot of uh, size and a lot of uh, buyers just stepping in, right? At the correct entry. So we would get in at, 220, uh, 223, and our target would be 225, which was the area where it maxed out last time. Remember, guys? It maxed out two, three days ago. Yeah, two days ago, or three days ago, I guess, if you want to count today as a day. Um, but yeah, that was the play. The, my stop would be right below this area, so I have it, my stop would be at 222.25, and this was just a breakdown. Um, you guys can see this setup was uh, was set up on the daily. There was no there was resistance on the daily chart at two two. Pretty much what I went over. This is what it explains. Um, position long entry two twenty two two three two hundred twenty three dollars. Exit at two two five. Um, and then the stop would be at two 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 point two five. And the R ratio that is pretty. It's at two two point six seven. Anything above one is really good, right? Say you have a consistency of of um, let's go 66%, right? So one out of, uh, two out of three of your trades are right. <coughs> and out of, out of these trades, um, out of the 66%, so out of the two out of three trades, um, oh shoot, two out of three trades, um, why does it look like that? Out of two out of three trades, whatever, you guys know it's two out of three. Two out of three trades, uh, the profitability for this setup would be 2.67 times X of what the losing ones would be like, right? Of, of one that are wrong, wrong trade. I'll just set it up, of wrong trades, of wrong, wrong trades. I don't know if you guys are understanding this, but simply, simply put the one third of trades, of trades are just one 
right? So or just one. I don't know if this makes sense or not, but I hope it does. So pretty much the one third of the trades would be, uh, keep in mind what I'm trying to explain is the R ratio. So the one third of the trades, say I take, I place three trades, right? Simply put, three trades. One of the trades is a red trade, right? So I lose say one dollar. <laughs> the second trade, second and third trade are right per se, right? And I make two two sixty seven on each of the trades, right? So simple math would be, uh, it'd be like a little bit over five dollars, right? So in reality, I have like four dollars profit, right? So it's just pretty much. Um, pretty much a way to break down, see how that strategy is performing and seeing if it even, if your hit rate outweighs, if your hit rate and your R ratio are good, meaning that if your R ratio is above one and your hit rate is above 50, then you're golden, right? It's a good strategy. And how do you find that? Through backtesting, through finding your, your, uh, your plays through this playbook that uh, pretty much I'm breaking down for you guys. But, um, but yeah, this is the play for today. If you guys like these kind of videos where I go more into depth on, on what it is that I look for, uh, how do I look for them, um, whatever, whatever, just go down in the comments below and let me know. Uh, the more feedback I get, the more eager I'll be to put these kind of videos out and hopefully help any of you guys. By no means am I an expert, I'm just portraying what I know and hopefully help some of you guys, right? But yeah, make sure you guys comment what you guys want, uh, want to see next or if you guys like these kind of videos. Comment, comment, comment. That's how I know you guys like these videos. If I see that, then I'll start uploading them daily, whatever you guys want. I'm, I'm not afraid to upload daily. I just need to see the demand. Uh, with that said, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.